what does insurance mean to you? Like, is insurance really a good career path? Like, you, you're yeah. licensed now. Mm -hmm. Like, let's talk about like, is it a real like a career? Mm -hmm. Can you make some money at this thing? You know yes. what I mean? Yes, you can. Um, you know, my my first interview, I went in and she was like, "Why do you want to be an insurance?" I was 19, so I got in when I was 19. I'm coming up yeah. on my seven year anniversary next month, um, and she's like, "Why?" And really, it, it started with one. I I'd love to make money. I do love to make money. Um, Who does? It doesn't hurt. It, it really doesn't hurt. It doesn't at all. And if I can make money by helping people, which I yep. also love to do, that's yes. my tr my true passion is coaching, and that's why I try to get around you yeah, as much yeah. as possible because I love yeah, you too. to help people as much as possible. Yep. So if I can do that and make money, and then if COVID wasn't a true testament to this, like I'm recession proof. That's right, baby. Job job security, man. Like I'm not going anywhere. I don't. Bot does not replace Joe Camper. Like, no. and all these people are like, oh, these Bot insure tech and all that. I was like, no, they, they can't. And so I, and I truly believe that. And I think people yeah. have their differing opinions, but nothing will ever trump me on the phone. That's um, right. Or through a text message or whatever it is. Dude, I heard you. You were helping us out and get some people in the mentorship program the, yes, yep. uh, yesterday. Dude, Joe's good on the phone, man. Thank like you. on video and on the phone. I'm like, this dude's got the secret mm -hmm. sauce. A lot yep. of people like, they say they're good. But, dude, you proved it yesterday in front of our whole team, which it says a lot about you, by the way. That's and good. you got to have that to have a great career in insurance. Mm -hmm. you got to have some skills. Yep. What kind of skills do you think you need? Um, Man, first one is show up. And that's not – I wouldn't Step even – it's, it's, not, it's not even necessarily a skill, but for some people it can be. It's so good. Dude, just get there. Yeah. Just get there because the rest of it can be refined and, and tracked and managed over time and improved. Yep. Um, just get there. That's right. And that's, again, I know some of that comes very easily for us. Like for me, like if you're not early, you're late. That's right. Right. Well, so I'm always yeah, yeah. I'm always going to be there. Yeah. Right. And if you don't, you're getting on the line and you're you're running 15 line touch. That comes basketball mentality. Like, We're going to start making the sales yeah. team do that. Line yeah, up. Right? <laughs> if you ain't 15 minutes early, you're late. Get on the line. Yeah. 22s. Um, but no, so really just getting there. Just getting That's there. Um, and then I would say for the skills you need to train every day. So finding a program with that. For me, I think I did it the hard way and developed it myself. Mm. Um, which looking back, right, even though I'm only 26, yeah. if I had gotten if I had known what I do now, I would have come and like sought a, out Cody Askins or somebody that had a program or something yeah. to improve my skills at a faster rate versus Trial and error, that's trial right. and error, which a lot of us, I think we learn by trial and error, and that's great. Yes. I think there is power, and you can develop testimony from that. Yep. But a lot of our skills, like we're not we're not born with everything we need to really encompass, you know, how much money we can actually make in this yep, industry. Right. We need to find people that are better than us. Um, and again, I would almost call that a skill because you got to swallow your freaking pride. Yeah. I suck. So I got to go find somebody that doesn't and then learn You don't suck that. anymore, bro. Yeah, no. I, I, I don't no. know if you really ever did, but... You're really good now. Yeah. You're like, dude, it, 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 your ability to go right mm -hmm. premium yeah. is freaking insane. And we're okay. going to touch on that in a few minutes, by the yeah. way. Um, however, I want to go back to like the career path, okay? okay? Like how important is it for them to have a prospecting system to run on? It's everything. To have something to do. Like, do you notice that as, with agents and trying to make this a good career? Like the n number one reason why insurance agents fail is they don't know what to do. Yeah. To get in front of people, yep. right? And we're going to talk about some of the crazy creative ways that you get in front of people in a little bit because you mm -hmm. do phenomenal at that. But talk about how important having a track to run on is. It's, gosh, it's everything. Um, and I think with that comes that technology piece. Yeah. You need to be leveraging something that's helping you do that. That's and good. I'm sorry if you're still working on an Excel sheet or you've <laughs> got just paper files. Like Not after this. Yeah, you're the, the boat has sailed, my friend. Like you need yep. to catch up. Um, that's right. For me, the CRM, like when we got a CRM, we used Ricochet 360. Boom. That thing freaking changed everything um, yeah. to where like those Excel sheets, like you just can't do it. Um, so having that literally everything tracked, and there's tons of systems out there, right? Just because oh, we chose this. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not, I think a lot of people talk about, oh, mine's the best, mine's this, this, and it's yeah. like not, it's not one size fits all. Yeah, that's right. Go try them out, find the ones that work for you, and then stick with that and work it. Um, you know, but I think with that, you have to keep yourself accountable to actually be checking your numbers yep. on a daily basis. Like I will go through and I will look at talk time. I will look at how many calls were made, how many yep. appointments on the life, how many appointments were set, how many appointments were kept. Are there notes? Is there anything that I can use that if I didn't sell them now, that now I can yes. have that rapport building when I'm trying to follow up with them, mm. you know, closer to their next renewal or whatever it is. Mm. Um, so Dude's dropping some gold here. This is good. There, it, it's important to do. And I think even, and I'm not saying I'm perfect because 
I've just now really gotten back to this because I was I was letting it go. I would check it once a week or maybe every it's other easy day. Easy to do too, isn't it? And then it's like, man. But then like this person wasn't doing anything yesterday, and it's like that's because I didn't check it. And I could have addressed yeah, yeah, it yeah. today, even though I let it go for another two days, right? Um, so very very important on having that tech not something to help you manage who you get in front of. Totally right. The activity um, and then leads. Yeah. However you want to buy leads, obviously you know I don't. I don't really pay for leads, no, but that's no. not, I did come from that. That's right. I had to unplug my phone at night. We were spending so much on leads. Wow. Um, I wouldn't suggest, I would suggest Crazy. both. I would suggest using your warm market, get in front of the people. And I know like um, things I've been hearing more about when you're first starting in the life or health space, like that's right. presentations with the people you know. Hey, can, like I'm trying to get totally. better. Are you guys cool with me giving you my presentation? You have to start out with your warm market. Most yep. people do not want to. I'm telling mm-hmm. you, just It's like you're it. scared to ask your friend. Dude, and it's like, you ask, ask your friend, your... and if your friend says no, then are they really your friend? Yeah, that's right. That's a, such a good point, too. Mm-hmm. And that's a lot, a lot, early in a career, a lot of new agents struggle with that. Yeah, big time, man. What, when, when you think about um, the agents that succeed, because how, how long have you been in the business now? Uh, almost seven years. Almost seven years. You're outside of the three years, like by two and a half times. Yeah. And you are clearly going to be in insurance in some form for the rest of your life. Yes, sir. Obviously. What do you notice about those that succeed and make this a great career? What do you notice about those people? Like, what type of people are they? What do they? What, what, what do they look for? Like, what type of individuals are they? What's um, their personality traits, characteristics? Like, what are some of those top things they need and that they need that they're watching right now? I would say, from at least from what I've seen, from at least recently, and also from my past, like the most successful people. And there's I've seen successful people, but that yeah. aren't truly successful. I would say, and I think a lot of it has to do with balance. You can operate at a high level like Cody does, but you need to have balance. You need to operate. He operates at a high level in every single category, right? So that's okay because that's all balanced. It's not like I'm going gung-ho over here, but then I'm totally just wiping all of this out over here. So I think balance is extremely important. Um, You're never going to be perfect. It will never be an even line. It won't be. Um, So balance is definitely important. I would say... Probably the number one thing I've actually seen, though, like with people who have truly found success is they start within a system mm. or a process. Like, yes. learn the freaking ropes. Yes. And I, I really, again, it comes back to that kind of swallowing the pride. Yeah. Um, even like when I'm hiring, I will actually look for younger people. Yeah. Um, we are the new wave, the new generation that's coming in. We need younger people in the insurance industry right. because we don't Average have a lot of us. Is, it may not be now. I need to check. Before it's like it was 55. 59. 59. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a lot but of But you're, you're bringing a lot, a, lot of, a lot of new people in, so maybe it yeah. has went down to 55. And I, but I, I go green because yeah. I, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. No, and, and a lot of times they want to reinvent the wheel. They mm-hmm. want to change everything you're doing. And they're in, like, if, you, if you're interviewing with somebody, like, you're not like hot stuff because yeah. you're, you're interviewing. You're yeah. not freaking, you're not on the other, you're not interviewing. You're, you're not mm-hmm. the interviewer, you're interviewing. Yeah. So just and I, listen and be coachable. I will give props to, my captive experience. Yeah. When they bring you on, you are going to be the best representative of that carrier, right. which I, I did appreciate that because I For went sure. through the university. I went through binding authority. They give you tons and tons and tons of resources yep. to be really good at selling their product. That's right. right. So sometimes, and I, I hate to say it because I've obviously, I'm now independent for three years now and yep. I love it. And I still don't think I would, I would change it right. because I don't think I'd have the processes or the knowledge or just understanding both sides of how this PNC model, like, Hey, anybody can sell a policy because you can keep it. Right. That's Cause that's right. where their true money's at. That's right. Um, so I almost, sometimes I'll send people like when they're just too green and they're not grasping the independent side and having mm-hmm. all these carriers, or it's just extremely overwhelming to them. I will actually go kind of farm them out and go, dude, just go get, go learn the ropes and yeah. they will pay you to learn the ropes. And then once you've learned the ropes and you have that kind of training, then I'm calling on you. You got to um, learn it. I'm not going to do that every time, but I do appreciate my upbringing yep. in that. They did a really good job. Um, but then I was just like, okay, but like if I have the highest close rate at 35% in the office, I'm like that means I'm turning away like so much business. I was oh. like, what if, what if I even have one more carrier or two or three? And then that's kind of obviously what, what led, led to the independent now. world yeah. yeah, to where I'm you know, closing over 90%. So clearly insurance is a good career path. Yes, it's and you're amazing. kicking butt. Yeah. How, how do they follow you? 
Because they uh, want to keep following you. After you can that. find me, uh, Joe Frazier Campert. So I'm very active on my personal page. Yep. Um, we are Redwood Agency Group for the business page. Um, and then also I've got ATX Agent Hangout, um, which is my networking page. A lot of good uh, value on that. And? And this is, my, this is my baby right now, the Insurance Syndicate. Um, basically, we are trying to disrupt the industry through honesty and transparency of information. Um, so That's the Facebook group. That is the Facebook group. So come join us. Um, if you're trying to join the group, Please fill out the like the three questions. All you have to do is hit yes, yes, yes. If yep. you don't, I'm I'm deleting you because that already is telling me that you don't, you're not trying to level up. You can't even answer the questions. Like, come on, y'all. You've been deleted. Okay. Yes. You're out. All right. Sorry. Try Dude, again. Thank you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're thank a beast. You. Follow this man. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one. You're gonna love. It. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Mm -hmm. Believe you're gonna be at the top. No matter if you are in ops, yeah. if you're in sales. If you are the janitor right now, that's right. Be the best janitor you can be. You know, 